Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, great day. Um, it is Taco Tuesday, and I'm going to say I don't want to ever, ever hear again Daniel Jones is just as good, if not better, than Dan, than, than, than Dak Prescott. I can't even say it myself. Uh, I don't want to hear anybody say, I trust Daniel Jones more than the Dak Prescott, Greg Jennings. I, I, I literally do not want to ever hear that. I do not want to hear anything else about the New York Giants. After the molly whopping that they took last night, it is apparent that they are back in the basement, that last year was more the exception than the rule. It was just plain ugly. The Giants are terrible. Their coach looked lost. They couldn't make a first down on fourth down. Daniel Jones is doing pick sixes. It was just bad. And I'm sitting here because um, I've got work to do here at the Red Brick House and stuff, and I'm uploading uh, my morning video. And I came across this clip from Vic uh, DeBito, Vic DeBito, who is a New York Giant, huge, huge uh, YouTuber. And this is the post-game rant. I, I just have to share this because this is gold. This is literally gold. Let, let's listen in here. Let, let's listen to my man. It, it's a rough day for my man. Down and shut up and don't even look at me. Look at the fucking floor. You think I was going to let you sleep late after that game? No. You wake up early and you have breakfast. We go right back to work because we need to do a lot of work. Oh, yeah, we need to do something to wake this fucking team up and fast. I can only imagine how much your asses hurt from the back pounding you took last night. So lay on your tummies. The trainers will come around and put nice, cool, medicated powder on your giant ass so that you can all think about how not to play like children swimming in a shark tank with bathing suits made of baloney. <laughs> my oh, God, my God. So that was just horrible. Horrible. You know how stupid that game was. When it was 21 to 3, 14 of their points are on turnovers. They scored seven offensively. And we went for two fourth and ones and didn't get it. We just kicked the field goal. We would have had been winning nine to seven to start the fucking fourth quarter. Nice fucking sloppy fucking game. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Muffed punt. Schmidt goes out. Danny gets blasted from behind and coughs up the ball on our own ten. And here we fucking go again. Every fucking drive stalled after that. We go for it on fourth and one, and, and of course we can't gain one fucking yard. Pick Breda the fuck up and throw him for a fucking yard, for Christ's sakes. Danny with the pick six was brutal, just brutal. It was just sloppy all around. You know how sloppy that fucking game was. It was as sloppy as May West fish bucket after a night in a wild West saloon. We've been outscored 77 to 9 in the first half of the first four games. 77 to 9. We're all May West fish buckets. Gino goes down and some guy named Locke. Comes in and what does he do? Throws a touchdown pass on his first fucking drive. Because we can't tackle! We play football and we can't tackle. Tackling is a critical skill for a defensive football player. You can't be a hockey player if you can't skate. You can't be a swimmer if you can't swim. You can't be a boxer if you can't take a punch. And you can't be a football player if you can't tackle! <laughs> oh my god, no. Danny. Danny, you gave a lot of effort, but you 
were getting hammered all fucking night. The blindside sacks were scary. I can't blame you for this mess. You were part of it, but I can't put the blame all on you. Offensive line. You reached a new low last night. 11 fucking sacks. You're not linemen. Oh, wow. You're turnstiles. We've been building an offensive line for how many years now? And all we have to show it is five show, five fucking shoe salesmen wearing sumo wrestler blow-up suits. Wow. The special teams cold. played like shit, too. Everyone played like shit. Each and every fucking one of you motherfuckers played like shit. Everyone played like shit. Here's a stat. In our two home games this season, we've lost 64 to 3 with 18 fucking sacks. Maybe it's time to move back to Yankee Stadium because the home cooking in the Meadowlands is made out of turds. Oh, wow. Miami is coming up this Sunday. That is a good dangerous team i don't understand what we're doing guys i don't understand i one in three can become one in four and the next thing you know the fucking season is over is that what you want you want to go back to being that team again is that what you fucking want you fucking mutts wow I don't know what to tell you guys. I really don't know. But we're at zero hour. And if you don't get your shit together and fast, we'll have completely gone backwards. And that will be a shame. Get, just get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Learn how to play 60 minutes of football on all three sides. You have five days to figure this shit out. Mm. Wow. Okay. That that was enlightening. So, yeah. I guess you Giant fans are not doing too good right now. Um yeah. I I guess it's 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 hard out here for a pimp. All right, good people. I hope y'all are having a great day. Um I'm going to go over here get some work done and get back over here to do some more work and um Eagle fans, we got you coming too. We're, we're coming for you too. So don't worry. We got you covered. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And uh, Rashid, buddy. Growling. 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 Yeah, yeah. What? What?